Hello, thank you for joining me as we explore how to create a Google site, um, how to add to it and format it, how to share it with peers, and even how to add discussion forums to your Google site. So to start, be in Google, be logged into your Google account. We're gonna Google Google Sites, and you can see it's the first link that comes up, but I don't wanna click on the very first link because that brings us to the older version of the Google Sites tool. We wanna click on New Google Sites. Once we're in the new Google Sites tool, uh, you'll see your library of Google Sites. You can see I have a team project outline, which I've shared with you before. Uh, when I'm ready to create my own site, in the bottom right, there's a red plus button, which is a create new site button. I'll click on that. And you can see that here I am in my new Google Site. Before I do any formatting or editing, let's explore this tool a little bit. So you'll notice on the right hand side, we have our menu bar. Uh, we have the first thing we see is a insert tab. The insert tab allows us to insert things like text boxes, images, embed, URLs, uh, upload directly from our computer. Um, we can add dividers. We can insert directly from Google Drive. We can embed directly from YouTube or Google Calendar or Google Maps. We can also um, interface directly with Google Docs, slides, and sheets. Um, so really a lot of great options for inserting uh, web-based content and any other content you've designed that's on your computer to your Google Sites page. The next tab is the Pages tab. This is where you'll add new pages. So you can see we've got our home page. That's where we are now. And I'll simply click on Add Page to Add New Pages. For example, your first page would probably be a Unit Overview page followed by a Lesson 1 page. And you get the point. I don't think I need to keep adding this. It's fairly intuitive. Um, and then you can see different themes. So I'm going to click on Themes. And you can see to navigate between pages over on the top left, I'm going to click on Home. And I'm still in the Themes tab. Uh, you can see I can choose between Simple, Aristotle, Diplomat. And within each one, I can choose from different colors and I can choose from different font styles. So pick a theme uh, that your group likes, you know, come to a consensus, decide what you like, and design your Google site appropriately. I would say I would recommend using consistent formatting throughout your Google site. So again, on the right-hand menu bar, we've got our themes option, we've got our option for adding more pages, and we've got the insert option for inserting content into each of these pages. So let's take a look a little bit at the formatting. Um, so we're here on our home page. Here's where we add our page title. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to um, edit my page title. I'm going to call this page Google Sites uh, Tutorial. And in terms of formatting, it's fairly straightforward. I can choose, you know, left alignment or right alignment or centered. I can choose whether it's title, heading, or subheading. Right now, this is a title. I can shrink it. I can uh, do a variety of things. I can turn it into a hyperlink if I want to. I can change the image header. I can change the header type. If I want to add a subtitle, I click on the text box under the insert tab from my right hand menu bar and you can see that a text box appears and I might say uh, for the IS technology course and I maybe want this centered I also don't want normal text I want this to be a subheading maybe in one step I'm gonna make this a heading there we are and maybe I want to add an image just to spruce up this home page um, now you can see that when I click on image I can add it by Earl I can do a a search. Um, I can also uh, look through my own albums. I can insert directly from Google Drive and I can even upload from my own computer. So I'm going to click on upload, pick a picture that I have on my own hard drive and you can see it's about to load up. There it is. Now I don't really want it to be on the left hand side so I want to center it so I can click on it, drag it over. Do you see there's some nice lines that show up that help you with spacing. So there we go. Now, one other feature I noticed when editing Google Sites is that sometimes it'll try and auto crop your picture to make it fit better. If you ever want to undo the auto cropping it does, you can see there's a uncrop button whenever you've selected your picture and you can click that if it's trying to crop your picture. So for example, if I try and make this picture bigger, um, oh, it didn't do it there. Let's see. Well, it's still not seem to be doing it, but if I click on uncrop, boom, yes, it did do a bit of cropping. And you see it sets it back to its original dimensions and original shape. And, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm done my home page. Next, I'll click on the Pages tab from the right-hand menu bar. And I'm going to go to my Lesson 1 page. And on your Lesson 1 page, um, I'll go back to the Insert tab for adding things to the page. 
uh, you're going to format your pages as introduction. Uh, I'm going to add another text box, which is going to have my uh, content section. I'll add another text box that is going to have my activity section. And a final text box for my reflect and extend section. And then you're going to be adding a variety of other content. Now, whether it's in the form of text and you're adding to those text boxes, or you're adding more images, or you're embedding uh, presentations or YouTube videos, what you can do is you can grab and you can see each element that you keep adding to your page if you need to get it repositioned. So say for example, I add a picture and I want this in, in the introduction section rather than the reflect and extend section, all I have to do is grab it and click and drag it up and you can see now that picture shows up in the introduction section. All right. I'm just going to delete it for the moment just to keep the page simple um, to show you the last part, which is adding a Google group discussion forum to your site. Uh, so I'm going to click on a new tab and in Google, I'm going to do a search for Google groups and I'm going to click on the first link. I'm going to select create group. Once I've done so, I'll come up with a name. So I might call this one Google sites tutorial. Oh, to Tutorial. There we go. And now a very important feature is to highlight and copy this web address. Control C or right click copy. Uh, fill in your group's description and you know set the basic permissions the way you'd like it to be. When you're ready, click on create. Confirm to Google that you are not a robot. Once I've done so, um, I've created my Google site. It'll give you some more personalization options here that you can choose. You can browse through that and make your own decisions. Uh, once I've done so, I'm just going to refresh the page as well. And you can see that I'm now in uh, my discussion forums. I can add new topics. Once there are topics added, I can reply to them. You'll want to make a welcome message for your forums as well. Now, I'm going to use that web address I copied. And if you ever need to retrieve that web address again, let me show you where it is. If I click on the settings gear wheel in the top right, and I click on group settings, you'll see here is the web address to our Google forums uh, group discussion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this web address. I'm going to go back to my site and I'm going to click on the embed URL option and I'm going to press control V or right click paste to put in that web address for my Google discussion forums. I'm going to click on add and you can see what I've done is I've added discussion forums directly to my lesson page on my website. So that as part of perhaps my reflect and extend activity. I mean, this could even part be part of your uh, general activity. Um, really, it's up to you how you're going to be using this because again, just like before you can click and you can drag them up and reposition that forum where you need it to be. Um, but you see now I've successfully added this to my site. Uh, one more thing I guess I should show you is how to add uh, your other group members, give them access. And again, it's fairly intuitive. You see the little plus person up on the top there? You just click on add editors and you can either share a link with them directly or you can invite them if you already know their email addresses by entering them right down there. Once you've done so, everybody can edit the site. And once it's finished, you can click on publish. Anytime you'd like to preview, you can select the preview button here. And you can see what your site looks like. You can see what it looks like on mobile. You can see what it looks like on a tablet. See what it looks like on a computer. When you're done, click on the X. So have some fun with this. Play around with it. Um, there's lots of great features. Like I said, I think it's a very intuitive tool and really fun to design your own site. So please do enjoy. If you've got questions about it, ask me. Um, I'd love to hear them and I'd love to help you out with this. Um, but I think that you guys are, from what I see, supporting each other very well. Um, and it seems like a lot of you have needed very little from me. But I'll continue to do my, my best to provide helpful resources in the modules. But if you find there's some gaps, let me know about them and how I can fill them in. Okay. Thank you very much and have fun.